People love them, many fear them, but is the fear of this kind of dog justified? It is an issue that can divide people, just like abortion, politics, and religion. Pit bulls. And after a recent string of reported attacks, including a Treasure Valley police officer just last week, are the dogs simply a bad breed or getting a bad rap? Mike Murad joins us in the studio with tonight's True Squad investigation. Mike. Natalie, according to the Centers for Disease Control, nationwide an average of 12 people are killed by dog attacks each year, including three from pit bulls. But even though you're still about 20 times more likely to be killed from a lightning strike than a pit bull attack, people still have strong feelings about the breed. Oh, I knew they were kept killing. That's what I was thinking. I knew it was a fight for my life. Two years ago, Peter Olson told CBS2 he was simply outside his home picking up the mail when two pit bulls appeared from nowhere and attacked him. As soon as I looked up, they came charging, and they didn't stop. According to the American Veterinary Medical Association, about 800,000 people seek medical attention each year for a dog bite. But are your chances of getting bit by a pit bull greater than any other dog? Boise veterinarian Diane Sewell says no. Hello. How's it going? In her 24 years on the job, Dr. Sewell says she's been bit by just about every breed except a pit bull. When I talk to other veterinarians about what dogs you see, they're going to be more aggressive. Pit bull is not in the top 10. It's, you know, Rottweilers and Chows and Chihuahuas and Dachshunds. And the science would seem to back that up. A recent study conducted by the University of Pennsylvania indicates you have a much better chance of suffering a snap at the mouth of a dachshund, chihuahua, or Jack Russell Terrier. But where the pit bull did score higher was an aggression toward other dogs, a trait that may have been fostered by their history of being forced to fight both dogs and other animals. But at the Meridian Dog Park recently, CBS2 couldn't find anyone who had a bias against the breed in general. Do you have any preconceived notions when it comes to pit bulls? I'd be a little scared if they were a pit bull that had been in a situation of dog fighting or aggressive behavior. But I think as a puppy, you raise it right, you get it its training, and I wouldn't have any problem with a pit bull. Over the last three decades, the American Temperament Test Society has evaluated over 29,000 dogs. And of the 14 most tested breeds, only the Labrador Retriever scored higher than the pit bull. ATTS awards a pass or fail to each dog coming through their program. The test is based on the animal's shyness, aggressiveness, and friendliness. Since 1977, ATTS has been keeping a running tally, and in terms of overall disposition, when it comes to the most tested dogs, only labs top pit bulls. Lisa Kaufman is the Idaho director of the Humane Society of the United States. Two years ago, she became a first-time pit bull owner when she adopted Barkley she brings to the dog park on a regular basis. <laughs> People, again, will come up and, like, is that a pit bull? I'm like, yep. And, you know, he plays nice with everybody, doesn't cause any problems. So I think by me taking him with me places, he is a good ambassador for the breed himself. <laughs> a pit bull is also the pet of choice. Treasure Valley dog trainer, Sandra Sartorius. As far as people who are afraid of these dogs and think they're killers, what would you say to those people? Come over to my house. They're at my house, and they're, give them a chance. I mean, if you've never met one, give them a chance, and you won't go back to any other dog. In 2000, the CDC published a special report spanning 20 years on the breeds of dogs involved in fatal human attacks in the United States. Pit bulls topped the list, averaging about three deaths a year, followed by Rottweilers at two and German Shepherds at one. But the CDC concluded, quote, although fatal attacks on humans appear to be a breed-specific problem, other breeds may bite and cause fatalities at higher rates. But even if other breeds tend to bite more overall, why do pit bulls instill such fear in some people? They look tough. I mean, they are a big, beefy dog. And I've met the people that I can't, you can't change their mind. You know, it's already, oh, pit bulls are bad. They're going to kill you and your dogs and everything else. And... Um, I can't change people like that. It's the dogs that are left tethered on a chain 24-7, aren't made a uh, part of the family or the household, um, have no obedience training. I do think that um, pet owners have a huge influence on a dog's behavior. And if you want a dog that's aggressive and encourage those aggressive tendencies, that's what you're going to get as a dog. But I do think that 
pet owners want a dog that's gentle, that they can trust and get along with everybody. And those are the dogs that we see mostly, um, and they're, they're great. And that last point by Dr. Sewell may be the key, a dog's owner. Last year, the Journal of the American Veterinary Medical Association published a study from Multnomah County, Oregon. The overall number of dog bites was analyzed, and the study found lower income areas of the county produced more biting dogs of all breeds and fewer dogs that were neutered, a big risk factor for biting dogs. The study concluded dog bites continue to be a source of preventable injury. Prevention programs should target owners of sexually intact male and purebred dogs and owners who live in lower income neighborhoods.